friends, it's Miss Heather from Head Start, and I have some super cool science experiments to share with you today. I have three of them. The very first one I want to do has to do with this. Anybody know what this is? Yeah, that's an egg, and eggs can be brown or white. This one happens to be brown, and this is just a regular raw egg out of my fridge. So I want to make some observations about this shell. I can see that it is hard and I can not see through it so I can't see what's inside the egg without cracking it open. So that's a regular raw egg but something super 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 amazing happens when you do something different with an egg. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an ordinary glass you can also use a jar and I am going to put my egg inside. I'll be super careful to put it in there so I don't break it. And then in this cup I have plain old distilled vinegar. This happens to be white vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar too. Process works the same. You can also use white eggs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put enough vinegar in this glass to cover my egg. And there are some interesting things that are gonna happen right away, like instantly. Now you're gonna to wanna to leave it sit in there for a full 24 hours, but right away, if you can see it, there are bubbles forming all over the surface of my egg in there. Those bubbles are something called carbon dioxide. That egg is already having a reaction to the vinegar. What you want to do if you try this at home is to leave your egg sit in there for 24 to 48 hours and you're going to see some amazing changes in your egg. So I have one that's already ready. I did it yesterday so that you could see what happens. And it is here in my jar. And this was a white egg. And you can see that it looks pretty big. I'm going to take it out of this jar. And this has been sitting in here for a full 24 hours and we're going to take a look at what changes has, have happened and how my egg changed from a hard shell to something else. Let's see, let's see what observations we can make about this. Okay, I'm going to try to very gently, gently get this out. Okay. Give me just a second. I'm gonna move this and then I'm gonna show you how this egg looks. So you can see that first of all, this egg is a lot bigger than the egg that we had before. The size is completely different. It has swollen up. You can also see that you can see kind of inside it where the egg that I had before, you couldn't see inside the shell to see what was in there, right? I'll show you something super neat. Let me show you how see-through it is. And you can kind of see it a little bit because of the light reflection above me, but I'm gonna take an ordinary flashlight. Can you see that? Yeah, it made my egg like see-through. Super cool, right? No longer a hard shell. So not only can I see through it when I couldn't before, and it's gotten much bigger in size, but the other observation I can make is that I no longer have that hard shell. This is actually very squishy. I don't know if you can see me kind of, there we go. Not quite like a bouncy ball. I don't want to squish it really hard because it can still break and the insides are still the same as a regular egg. As a matter of fact, I'll show you that now. So I have just an ordinary pie pit. I just did this so that you could see it really well. And you can see my egg bounces, which is pretty cool. Don't try to use it as a bouncy ball. It really will break. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, whoop, there it went. <laughs> I'm going to break the outside layer, which you can see there. It's almost like, like rubber, um, kind of like a balloon. It broke, and now I have the insides of an egg, just like you would if you cracked an egg out of your fridge into a frying pan when you were making breakfast, right? So that's pretty cool. It made my shell completely see-through, very soft, very squishy, all by it reacting by soaking in the vinegar. So what happens there, give me just a second, I'm gonna move that. 
So what happens when an egg soaks in the vinegar for a full 24 hours, the eggshell has a reaction with the vinegar. And what it's actually reacting to in the vinegar is the acid. It's the acetic acid in vinegar that reacts with a calcium carbonate on the shell. And I know those are some really big words, but bottom line is it's the acid in the vinegar that reacts with the shell and causes it to kind of dissolve, become very thin and see-through and squishy. So you should try this experiment at home. It's very simple to do with some vinegar, a glass and an egg. And like I said, let it sit for 24 hours. Make your observations of what your egg looks like before, just like we did, and what happens to your egg after. All right, that was my first experiment. My second experiment also involves acid. We're on a bit of a theme here. So my second one has to do with soda. We all know soda is a woe food, right? And that means we should only eat it occasionally because it's not the healthiest thing for us. But it has some pretty amazing cleaning power. Cleaning power in soda? Absolutely. I want to show you something cool. I have right here some pennies. And I also have a nickel. Make sure you guys can see that. So there's my nickel and there's my penny. Okay. And these are metal. They're very hard. They're very shiny when they're clean. But this is not a very shiny, clean penny. Nope it's pretty dirty it's pretty old so I decided to try an experiment to see if I could figure out what would clean my pennies so that they look shiny and new again so what I did is I took my change and a glass put my change down into the empty glass and then I took my soda and poured just enough of my soda into the glass in order to cover the change in the bottom. Now, this is another one of those things you've got to leave it sit for a full 24 hours. So, you can just leave it in there and see what happens to your pennies after a whole day of them sitting in this soda. Now again, luckily I did one for you yesterday so we can see what happens to it. So there is my jar, and remember that when my coins went in, they were dirty like the ones I showed you before. There's all kinds of change in the bottom of my jar there. We're going to take it out and see what it looks like. So first I'm going to get the towel because I don't want to wear all this soda, huh? There we go. And I'm going to pop this open. I'm going to pour some of the soda out into my measuring cup here because I can't put it all on the towel. That would be too much. My towel won't hold it all. But you can see, like I said, I just put my change in the bottom of the jar. And I covered it with soda. And I let it sit for a full 24 hours in the bottom of the jar covered by the soda. And we're going to see what happens to my change. Okay, so I can tell you that a lot of my pennies look pretty nice and shiny. I mean, they almost look brand new and they did not look like that when they went in. They were very dark and they were very dirty. You can see there, they look pretty good. All right, that was one I've also got some nickels and they are a silver color they're not this copper color because they're made from a different kind of metal and my nickels were really dark and black when I put them in there and you can see they actually came out really clean pretty cool huh so the thing in soda that causes it to clean things like pennies the, the metal um, is because the the metal inside the pennies or the the nickel that these are made out of has a reaction a chemical reaction with the acid in soda now in soda's case it's phosphoric acid but it's acid nonetheless so we saw that acid is able to do an amazing thing with an egg 
soften that shell, make it see through, crazy changes happen there. And we saw that the acid in our soda can also clean. Pretty impressive. That was my second experiment. Now I've got one more, also about acid. Like I said, we're on a roll here. Let me just move my pennies out the way. So I have on my plate here, I've got a lemon and I have some apple slices. Now, this is a really cool experiment. You can do this one at home, just like the soda, just like the egg and the vinegar. Very simple. If you take an ordinary apple and you cut it in half, now in my case, I cut it in quarters, so I have it in four slices instead of two. Um, and you don't have to peel it. I peeled it just so you could see more of the change in the surface. But when you first cut open an apple, you're gonna see that the inside looks very white. Um, you're gonna see that it looks very white. And if you let one sit, so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna cut your apple in half, right? And you're gonna take one half and you're just gonna leave it. Just set it off to the side, leave it for like 20 minutes. And watch the changes that happen to that apple. Take your other half, take your lemon, drizzle your lemon juice onto the other half of the apple, kind of toss it around, make sure it gets coated because that forms a coating on the outside of the apple. What happens, if you can see there, is that the apples that did not have any lemon juice on them actually started getting very, very brown. And that is because the surface of the apple is having a reaction to the air. It's exposed because I've cut it open and the air is causing this to turn brown. Happens with every apple when you cut it open and you let it sit out. You can see there's some browning there and this just happened over the course of like 10 or 15 minutes. But the ones that I tossed in lemon juice didn't do that. See the difference? These ones got brown, these ones didn't. They stayed pretty white. The reason for that is, is because there is citric acid in lemons and it actually acts as a coat. It creates a coating that protects the surface of the apple. Think of it like if you put your coat on and you go outside in the rain, your coat covers you to keep you from getting wet. Well, kind of the same thing. The lemon juice covers the apple to prevent the oxygen from causing this to happen where it starts to get brown. So the air reacts with the lemon juice on these apples instead of the surface of the apple, like on these. That's pretty interesting too, huh? So that's another amazing power that we have seen from acid. Again, a couple different kinds because this is citric acid. It was phosphoric acid in the soda and it was acetic acid in the vinegar, but all acid all the same. Again, I know those are lots of really big, really hard words, but the bottom line is, is that acid is very, very powerful and it can do all kinds of things like give you a squishy egg you can see through or keep your apples from turning brown so that you can bake them in your apple pie and clean your pennies. Why not? So you've learned some amazing things about the power of acid and you've got three brand new science experiments that you can try at home. Very simple with the help of your grown up. Make sure that you can get some observations before and after your experiments. Draw some pictures about the experiments or things that you observe and tell other people about it. Be like, guess what I learned today? It's the most amazing thing. And you can explain to other people how awesome your own science experiment went. You are an amazing scientist and you are super smart. I hope you have a ton of fun trying these at home and I hope you liked watching my video today and learning all about acid. Thanks friends. Take care.